Hey, I'm Guy from DIY with Guy and today I'm going to be reviewing this Tack Life Barrel Grip Jigsaw. I decided to buy this jigsaw after I broke the blade clamp on my last jigsaw. I tried welding the blade clamp but it caught flames and that didn't end well. Up until now I used the Yusheng jigsaw so I'm pretty happy I don't have to look for the Allen key whenever I need to switch blades. So yeah, as you can see, I'm using the old blades to open the new one, so it's very symbolic. As you can see, it comes in a nice briefcase. Alright, so here it is. So here we have the jigsaw itself. We'll go over it in a minute. We have the rib guide. We have the vacuum adapter, user manual with the warranty card, and there should be some blades included here. I think, I think they're, oh, there they are. So we have two blades for metal, two blades for plastic, and two blades for wood. We also have this protective layer here if you're working with delicate materials. Um, we're just going to remove this for now. So, first impression looks really nice. I mean, it's a bit heavier than my last jigsaw. Um, let's go over its features. So let's go over some of the buttons and switches we have here. Back here we have the speed dial, moving from 0 being the slowest to 5 being the fastest. We have the on off button, the vacuum switch, and the pendulum switch, which basically controls the angle of the blade. We'll go over it soon. So, in order to connect the blade or switch a blade, we gotta move the blade guard first out of the way, then we turn it over and we switch this quick connect knob. You can't see it on video, but it's there, trust me and just place the blade inside just gotta play around with it a bit and there release the knob and voila it's in then of course we need to put the blade guard back in another nice feature about this jigsaw that i didn't have with my previous jigsaw is this switch right here which basically alternates between light and laser light only laser only and nothing and then finally you have this lever right here in case you want to change your cutting angle you just open the lever and then you can bring it either left or right up to 45 degrees in either direction and you have these teeth right here to help with pretty fine angles so the guide fence has a carved ruler on it so you don't have to worry about it being scratched away in order to connect it you just have to release these two screws down here Slide it in, set it to whatever size you want, and lock it in. So I set the fence to about 3 centimeters and marked the line with my speed square. So the laser seems pretty spot on. Hopefully it cuts straight as well. Let's see. Hmm. So for some reason the blade took a left turn. As you can see, right from the start the blade took a left turn and didn't go along with the with the fence. I think that the supplied blade might be bent. I'm not sure about it. Let's just try it off without the fence for a second.
Right, so even without the fence, the blade insisted on going left, and I had to adjust it by basically twisting the jigsaw to the right a bit. So I switched over to the second blade that they provide, and I'm gonna try again. Hopefully that last blade was just damaged from the factory or something. As you can see right here, kind of glitches to the left again. So let's start from the beginning and try to kind of continue where we left off and try to go straight from there. All right, it looks much better. I mean, it is a pretty clean cut, but it looks like you just have to kind of constantly shift the jigsaw to the left a bit and pull it from the back to the left in order to get a straight cut. I mean, I hope it's these blades. I'm gonna try it with a better blade, but this is what I got at the moment. So let's try it again, this time with the pendulum switch set to zero. Okay, so this was much easier to control, but again, have to give it a bit of a twist. I'm gonna try cutting from the other side and see if the fact that I don't have any support here is what caused the blade to, to shift to the left. Now obviously if it's gonna start shifting to the right now we know then it's just the fact that I don't have support here and there's nothing wrong with the blades. No. Clearly something about this saw uh, or the blades causes it to, to go to the Let's left. Let's try cutting small circle this time. And this time we'll try it with recording. Alright, so with the pendulum set to zero, speed at five, I uh, got much better results in the second cut. One more thing I wanted to try is the vacuum system. Basically, you connect it here with the adapter that you get. You just stick the adapter in. Note to self. Turn vacuum on. So just looking at the floor, it looks like the vacuum adapter does a pretty good job. Uh, you didn't see the before image without the vacuum cleaner, but definitely less sawdust this way. So before I wrap this up, I want to try cutting at a bit at an angle, a 45 degree angle. So let's release the lever. Give it a 45. Oh, so it looks like the guard is in the way. Well, I'm just going to have to remove the guard first. So going to 45 degrees, you definitely need to remove the guard. There we go. Just lock the lever in. There you go, the 45 degree angle right there. It did that thing where it slips to the left again. I should have drawn a line probably to help me go straight. So overall I'm pretty happy with this jigsaw. It's got a good grip to it, you can do a curved line really easy. In my opinion it's a very good value for money. It was around 40 pounds on Amazon UK, that's around $50. It's a great choice if you're a beginner or intermediate woodworker or simply on a budget. I really like the laser marking on this thing. However with the current blade pulling to the left it kind of renders the laser unusable and you just gotta eyeball it so it's a good idea to draw a line with a pencil until we get this sorted out. 
Anyway, I'll try getting my hands on a different blade and see how it works. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please write them down below. This is my first video on YouTube and there are many more exciting projects to come. Here's a small teaser for a welding project I'm working on. It involves welding thin square tubes. So if you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss future videos, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and I'll see you guys next time.